Hey, yes, sir. We know what time it is. We finally got the triple trap trick structure deck. I've honestly been waiting for this one. To me, I am a bigger fan of the trap trick structure deck than the dark road one because I honestly think when it comes to sealed, I think this is better than the dark road one in my own opinion. And I have not gotten a chance to take a look at the rarities of the cards and everything like that. I don't even know what the new trap trick monsters even do yet. I remember I used to play trap trick, but I never w was able to afford um, the trap trick Sarah, so I did online testing. Then I forgot about it. So we are here and we're going to build that nice $30 structure deck as well. So let's get straight into it. All right. Okay. So we have Trap Trick Pudico right over here. All right. Then we got that. Got that paper play map for sure. Yeah, I'll rock. I'll rock this shit right now. For sure. This on a cloth play mat will be so fire. Knowing them, they might actually do it. Uh, let's see what else they have here. So combos, everything like that. All right. There we go. Let's just get straight into this. All right. Let's get. All right. Let's get rid of these things. Full time hypernova, and then master do. Put that to the side. All right. We have trap trick, Pudica right over here. Damn, man. I have to flash from my, from my phone. Might be getting in the way. All right. Unaffected by the effects of whole true normal trap cards, which most of the Ones do. You're going to use each of the following effects of this card once per turn. When this card is normal summon, you can add one trap trick garden from your deck to your hand. If this card is special summon, you can target one special summon monster your opponent controls. Banish it. That's pretty nice. Also, during the next standby phase, your opponent can special summon any one of their banished monsters. Um, this So, this can definitely go double-sided in any sort of way. So, you know pretty good and then trap trick oh we got a field spell now look at that okay during your main phase you can normal summon one trap trick monster in addition to your normal summoner set okay that's actually really good the first time each plant or insect monster you control will be destroyed by battle it is not destroyed you can banish one monster you control special summon one trap trick monster from your hand or graveyard you can only use this effect once per turn okay i'll actually like this card a lot um trap Tang Lizing Tune, whatever the hell that says. Discard one level four plant or insect monster or one normal trap. Draw two cards. Ayo, this is actually, this sounds pretty good. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one of your banished level four insect or plant monsters or normal traps, place it in the bottom of the deck. Okay, I actually like that a lot. All right, I believe this is the new XDs for sure. Uh, two level four monsters, so it's kind of generic in a way. Well, this card has material, it is unaffected by trap effects and the activated effects of other monsters with the same type as this card's material. So, you're basically saying, okay, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. You could use each of the following effects of this card was perturbed. You could detach one uh, material from this card, add one trap trick monster from your deck to your hand. If a monster uh, owned by your opponent is sent to your graveyard or banished by a card effect, you can attach one of those monsters to this card as material. Whoa, okay, I'm liking that. Okay, we have a new link three, okay. Two plus monsters, including a insect or a plant monster. This link summon monster is unaffected by, all, by trap effects. All trap trick monsters you control gain 1000 attack while you have a normal trap in your graveyard once per turn you could target one um face up cards your opponent controls up to the number of insects or and plant monsters you control negate their effects until the end of the turn you can apply this effect banish one normal trap monster um banish one normal trap from your graveyard and if you do destroy one of those targeted monsters wow okay all right um i'm not even gonna type how to uh pronounce that but unaffected by uh, okay whole traps the first time each set card in your spell and trap to spell and trap zone will be destroyed it is not 
During your main uh, main phase, you if you control a trap trick monster, a quick effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn, except insect or plant monsters. Okay, that's not too terrible. If it, it's just an extra deck block, right? So that's yeah, I actually like that a lot. Ooh, evenly matched. This card looks beautiful as a super. I'm not gonna lie to you. I like. I honestly like this better than the ultra. I'm not gonna lie. I love. I love how this looks out. This looks it looks so good. Oh, uh, we have a trap. We have a trap monster. You could activate this turret. The turret was set by discarding one normal trap card. That's sick. Special summon one. Uh, special summon this card in defense as a normal monster, um, with 400 attack, um, 2400 stat, and level four. Okay, level four is so easy to go into your Reflacia. You can banish this card from your graveyard and trap um, target one trap trick uh, monsters in your graveyard. Special summon it. Pretty good. And it's a trap, so you activate it there. All right. And now we enter into commons, Atrax. One of your best ones right over here, Mermelio. Nephesis. All right. Dionea. I remember that. Was this one of the newer ones? Newer ones? I don't remember. Um, Fesiculum. Fesiculum. <coughs> All right. Godard looks pretty good. Kumungus. I have not seen this card reprinted. I have not at all. The Italian AC is pretty good as well. Um, these are all. Almost. Some of these are Earth's insects, so, you know. Resonance Insect, Lone Fire Blossom. Oh, we have a Ash Blossom reprint in here. I kind of just skipped over that because I knew we were having the evenly matched, but not the Ash Blossom. That's actually really good in this deck. Rose Lover, Saja de Fleur, Purple Nightfall. Wow, that's pretty cool. And Blue Sky. These are pretty nice. Wow. Yeah, because I, I'm pretty sure, like, with your Link Monsters and your normal traps, these are set in the same zone, so, you know. You know, I might have to see. The Morale Tech. Fire Hand. Ice Hand. Wow. Thunder Hand. I didn't even know there was a Thunder Hand. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. Ragaki. Really good. Fe Feather Duster. <laughs> wow. These are all really good ones. Normal Trap Hole. Bottomless Trap Hole. Two of them. Void Trap Hole. Trap Tricks Hole of Nightmare is really good. Two of those. Floodgate Trap Hole. Grave Diggers. Trap Trick. Pretty good one. Shade Brigadine. I was going to say this one um earlier, but I don't even know what the heck I was talking about yet until this came up. So, this is what I was mentioning with this. So, this and uh, activated um, the activated effects. Oh, wait. Is it really unaffected by no my trap cards anyway? So, if this is attached as material... Didn't really make a big difference. Sanctum. I mean, with Scythe gone, this is not as good. Sacred Tree. Reflacia. Alamaris. Culeria. And Sarah. Yes, sir. Oh, Mantis. I don't know why Mantis is all the way back there, but, you know. This is a really good structure deck, in my own opinion. I mean, Labyrinth is obviously a really... It's like a much better trap deck, but if you if you're talking about just thirty bucks, this does you justice for sure. So we're gonna build that thirty dollars structure deck and let's get straight back into it. Peace. All right, now to get into the deck profile, we are playing triple copies of Mammalio, and we're playing triple copies of Mantis. These are the best names of the deck, so you might as well max out on them. So Mammalio, you're able to search your deck for any um whole normal trap card and if this card is special summon you're able to target one spell or trap card your opponent controls and yeah destroy it and for mantis if this card is um normal summon you're able to add any trap trick monster from your um deck to your hand and then once per turn quick effect you're able to target one set spell or trap card um you control return that target to hand and set one spell or trap card um, from your hand. This helps because um, you're able to set back your um, normal trap cards from your graveyard sometimes, so it kind of just helps out so your opponent doesn't know exactly where those trap cards are. So it's honestly really useful. For the next card, we're playing the new trap trick monster. Um, this is your extender of the deck. 
because quick effect you're able to um special summon this card um if you control a trap trick monster and this card helps you play around uh harpy's feather duster and eat um not evenly but um lightning storm because each um if each of your um normal um set spell or trap cards would be destroyed by card effect it is not destroyed when this card is on board so if your opponent were to active go into main phase activate your um activate their feather duster or their lightning storm you're able to chain this since it's the quick effect to special summon it because you know that you're going to be ending off with some trap trick monster of some sort you're able to just set um special summon it and their lightning storm or their feather duster kind of just did nothing so that we're playing three copies of that playing double copies of pudica double copies of dionea and we're playing one copy of Vesicula. Vesicula is here. Um, you're able to special summon this card by um, setting, sending a set spell on um, trap card you control to the graveyard. So it's pretty good that you're able to special summon this card, but um, not the best one, which is why we only play it as a one of um, the Dianea. If this card is a uh, special summon, you can target one whole tr normal trap card in your graveyard. Set that. Um, Set that target, but banish it during the end phase. This is the one I was talking about, not the Vesicula. And the Pudica is a new one. When this card is normal summon, you're able to search the field spell directly uh, from deck to hand. And if this card is special summon, you're able to target one special summon um, monster your opponent controls and banish it. Um, also, during the next standby phase, your opponent can special summon um, one of their banished monsters. So this card synergizes really well with the new um, XZ's monsters because... You're able to special summon this card, target a, um, a special summon monster, banish it, and then with the XZs, you're able to um, detach that, attach that um, banish monster as material. So, say saying as if they're not playing Cash Tiro, right? Or like, honestly, anything that has to do with like banishing their monsters, like they are not bringing anything back within the within their next standby phase. So honestly, this is really good. With a $30 seal structure deck, playing triple Ash Blossom in this format is so good because um, we are dealing with um, branded, even with Labyrinth in our format now, like Ash Blossom destroys their um, either one of their welcomes if they have no response to it because they just can't special summon their cards. That's going to be it for the monsters. And we're gonna get to the spells now. I'm playing double copies of the field spell, and I'm playing triple copies of the pot of greed in the deck. So the the field spell allows you to um to normal summon one extra time. Since most of your uh, I would say all of them have normal summon effects. So honestly, that's really good, and it allows you to generate more um level fours on board, so you can go into your XZ's engine or even just your um link package in general. This deck really needs the help to go second, so we're going to be playing triple copies of Ragyaki. And the great thing about Ragyaki is that this card is not once per turn, so if you open up multiple copies, especially that you know your opponent is going to be having negates on board, this card, um, you can just like um, activate one, they negate it, yeah sure, another one, yeah good luck now. So this card, really, really great, and glad it's back to three. We're playing triple copies of Evenly Match. This, thank the Lord that this card is in here because this card just makes this um, $30 structure deck very worth it. Because like, as I said before, this deck really needs the help going second. This card, Ash Blossom, um, Ragyaki, and more cards on our side deck allows this deck to um, really pop off going second. And now straight to our um, traps, the rest of them. We're playing triple copies of the brand new um, Holuta. This card is really good because you're able to activate it the same turn that this was set by discarding a normal trap card. And more than half of the time, you're going to be reoccurring those normal trap cards from your graveyard anyways. So it's like you just activated this card for free. And you're able to banish this card from your graveyard to um, target a... Trap Trick Monster in your grave and special summon it. So this card has uh, multiple purposes in one card, which is really great for a new Trap Trick card. And for your trap holes, we're playing triple copies of Floodgate Trap Hole. 
this card is really good right now in this format i've did i mentioned this card before in um my labyrinth tier list video with matt and we mentioned that it wasn't that good in labyrinth but within um trap trick this card is amazing so against Kashira, like they special summon the Fenrir, you activate Floodgate Trap Hole, flip it face down. They can't play the game unless they hard open birth. If they don't have that birth, they just can't play um, for the rest of the turn. So this card will really shine in that matchup. We're playing triple copies of Trap Trick's whole, um, Trap Trick Trap Hole Nightmare. This card is really good because it's able to negate a special summon monster effect that was summoned this turn and destroy it. It gets rid of the body too, so really, that's really good. We're playing double copies of Terrifying um, Trap Hole Nightmare. It's, a, it's definitely not as good as a Trap Trick Hole um, Nightmare, but if you have, you're able to, um, you're able to target one monster your opponent controls with 2,000 and more attack, you can destroy it. As long as they have a special summon monster that, um, that was summoned this turn, and if you have a trap hole um, in your graveyard, any sort of trap hole, any of these, you're able to banish one monster from your opponent's graveyard. We're playing one copy of Gravedigger's Trap Hole. Yeah, this light is really... Yeah, it's too much, but um, we're playing one copy of Gravedigger's Trap Hole because we're playing triple copies of Reflation. And even though this is more of a control deck, you're able to summon more than five times, so you're able to negate the nib. You're able to negate anything else that activates in hand or graveyard. So Ash Blossom is definitely one thing. And yeah, literally anything. And it just deals 2,000 points of damage to your opponent. And for our last card, we're playing one copy of Bottomless Trap Hole. So that's going to be it for our main deck. I believe I am playing 41 main. If not, definitely 40 for sure. So now for our extra deck. It's very... It is very, um, how do I say this, generic because like these are, there's nothing being left out here. Everything is from the structure deck. Playing triple copies of Sarah, this card really needed a reprint. And it's like your best um, trap trick monster in your extra deck for sure. If a normal trap card is activated, you're able to special summon one trap trick monster from your deck. Um, with a different name than the cards you have summoned. Um, then the cards you control or if your um trap trick monster effects activate you're able to set one whole um normal trap card directly from the deck so literally it gets your engine popping off we're playing double copies of kulera we're playing triple copies of the new one this card is really good because like this card is unaffected by traps in general right not just like whole normal trap cards or anything like that but traps and we're seeing a lot of play from skill drain right now so if this card if skill drains on the board this it does nothing to this card and this card helps you otk as well because um all trap trick monster you control gains 1000 attack while you have a normal trap in your graveyard and when you're not gonna have a normal trap in your graveyard like it's gonna be more than half of the time or even all the time for that matter and once per turn, you can target uh, face-up cards your opponent controls up to the number of insect and plant monsters you control, negate their effects, and you can add an extra effect to it. You banish one normal trap from your graveyard. If you do, target one of those um, target one of those targeted monsters, destroy it. Like this card is so good. Like you're able to OTK a lot easier with this deck for sure. This deck. With the, all the cards that you have, including um, your um, trap trick cards, like you're able to go um, second a lot easier in this deck for sure. Especially when you have like the evenly and the ragyaki. We're playing triple copies of Reflecia. This is your best card. Um, within this deck, you're able to set up um, at least two copies of this card. So, like you're able to activate two um, normal whole trap cards from your deck. It's just really good. We're playing double copies of Alamaris. This card is actually really nuts. Um, because you're able... Okay, first you're able to detach two, mater two materials from this card. Two special summon one um, level 4 insect or a plant from your graveyard. So it just brings back one of your cards. And this card is literally a Goyo Guardian. But as an Xyz monster. And it's not by battle, it's by um, card effect. So, like... Um, if a monster you if opponent's monster leaves the field because of your card effect and is now in the graveyard or banished or banished not even just graveyard which is actually nuts you can detach one material from this card and then target one of them special summon it to your field 
like say as if like um you got rid of a Fenrir or like anything like that right you're able to just basically bring it to your side of the field it's not even negated or anything like that so you have like their effects and everything like that which is so cool and for the last card we're playing double copies of the new one um pingu i would like to call it pingu um i mentioned this earlier with the bakula like you're able to um attach like ba um banished um banished monsters to this card or banished cards in general so uh let, let's read it real quick you get to touch um you could attach one material from this card add one trap trick monster from your deck um to your hand which is actually um pretty cool it's like a starter um from other than the ones that you have already and if a monster o um owned by your opponent is sent to the graveyard or banished by a card effect you can attach one of those monsters to this card as material it like i said before like once the once those cards are like destroyed by your whole trap effects like they're not getting those cards back at all because you're able to either summon it to your field or you're able to um, attach it to this card as material, which is actually really cool. Now for the side deck. Thank Konami for putting triple copies of Kamungus and triple copies of Gadarla. I mean, yeah, you'd rather have um, Spirit Mode or Lava Golem, but let's work with, work with what we have, right? So these cards are able to get rid of your opponent's um, like big monsters, like Towers, um, especially Kashira cards because like they block off your zones. So if you get rid of those, those zones are free again. Playing triple copies of Retaliating C, especially against the Brandon matchup. Um, if your opponent activates a spell card that includes the effect of special summoning a monster, you're able to special summon this card from your hand. And while this card is on the field, um, face up on the field, any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead. So literally any cards that need to be in graveyard they're just going to be banished instead especially when it comes to like branded fusion which is really good all right um after this we are for um last going second card uh we're playing the one harpy feather duster because why not right harpy feather is really good and especially the fact that we're seeing more um labyrinth card labyrinth decks in the meta now like this might be really good against them Against those matchups where your opponent activates a lot of grave effects or hand effects, siding in two more copies of this card is actually really good and um burns your opponent for a lot more damage than what a um than what is needed, you know. And um through my research I got the idea of Shade Brigadeen from Pack. Um I can definitely see why. Because when you're going first, you want to set up um like a pretty like cool like not cool i mean yeah cool but you know a pretty deadly board and in more than half of the time you might not even have traps in your grave yet so opening this to set it and activate it right away gives you a free level for it on the board so it just helps you extend and that's gonna be it for the $30 budget um trap tricks deck i honestly really enjoy this deck a lot and I'm gonna be testing it more and more, and I might even give you guys like a um more than thirty dollar budget. Like, there's um some cool stuff you could do with this in the plant deck, but I'm honestly gonna be like doing a more control oriented version of this deck. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Please leave a like, subscribe, all those things, and um for anyone that's interested in the labyrinth um Discord, I'm gonna be linking that in the description. So, if you're interested, join us. We would definitely enjoy all the company we can get. See ya. Peace.